Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So in this video, we will learn how we can use the SVG as a templates. So what I am trying to tell you is, so this is the final in the template concept. So template syntaxes and all those things, this is the final video. So you can use SVG files as a templates in your Angular application also. So when you try to use an SVG as the template, you are able to use the directives and the bindings just like the HTML templates. So we can use these features to dynamically generate the interactive SVG files or graphics. So I will try to show you some simple example. For example, let's say that this is our app.component.html, right? Let's say that we have an SVG. Okay, so you can create this one is an entirely new component also. Just I am trying to do. So here I will be having a rect, okay, rectangle and the x-axis. So where I want to place it. So I can place it at x-axis, y-axis, 0 means. So left side top it will be and the width I will be trying to give it as in 100 and the height also I will try to give it as in 100 okay sorry 2 not 200 200 100 and now here I can use the fill color so what is the color it should be filled is so RGB of no, 255 comma 0 comma 0 so that means it's completely in red color so now you'll be able to see a SVG icon here and now if you want to add some text means you can use a text here so where it should be placed so if you want you want to if you want to place this text so here i will write something like uh, click the rectangle or the square anything to change the color so this is the message i want to display it and where i want to display this one so you can mention the x is equal to 120 and uh, y is equal to something around 50 or anything so it will come side something like that so fine right so to change the color so this is the text which i want to show you now so we are able to get this one right now what i want to show you is so now here we can use the uh, dynamic uh, click event listeners on this one so you can use click event binding and also the property binding syntax on this one so the for that one what i will try to do it is i will use the click color click here before that so i want to make this color change right so this one i will try to make this one as dynamic so for this one dynamic what i can do it is so let's go to the app.component.es i will try to remove this entire code okay and i will use a property fill color is equal to rgb of this one so now here this fill color i can use it for this app.component.html so how can i use this one so now attr dot fill so we can use the attribute binding and i can use the sorry fill color okay fill color that's it now you will be able to see the same red color we are able to get it and the app component so now whenever the user clicks on this one that means in the rectangle i need to change the color so click is equal to change color so this is the method which i will be trying to call now if i try to use this change color let's go to the app.component.es and here i will be using the change color method okay same thing so just i want to generate the dynamic rgb colors okay so for this one first red color i want to generate rgb color i can use math dot floor of so i can use math dot random into 256 that's it so 0 to 1 it will generate and in the same scenario i can use for this g also okay and in the same for this for the blue also so now we have generated a random colors and i can apply this one to the this dot this dot fill color i can use it for this one and i can use something like rgb of and here i need to provide these all the dynamic things so dollar of or i can use it comma dollar of g i can use it comma sorry comma dollar of b that's it so now i can use this fill color so now whenever the user clicks on this rectangle automatically the color will be changing so here if you try to see the same output if i click here see the color is getting changed so this is what i want to try to show you okay so this is how we can use the, the we can generate the svg dynamically graphics also using the templates thing so this is what i want to try to explain you this is a simple example which i will be explaining so that's it guys about the template binding so we have learned so many concepts in the template syntax like event binding property binding attribute binding class and style binding and different types of control flow like if for switch and all those things and also we have learned about the local template variables that is nothing but add the rate let and the scope of that one and we have learned about the pipes concept what is a pure pipe and what is an impure pipe we have seen 
and also we have seen the different examples in this one and we have seen about the template reference variables how we can reference the template uh, element like uh, hash using the hash thing so like these different things we have used uh, so learned it in the next video onwards what we will try to learn is we will try to learn about the directives so what are the different types of directives how we can create the directive and the latest uh, what has been introduced in the angular 18 directive composition api so these are all the things you will try to learn it hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you